Hi, I'm Tim Kobejko, CEO of ImageIQ, with some ideas on how to design a good protocol for the imaging components of your clinical trial. So you've got a clinical trial, and you'll be doing some imaging in it, and sure enough, you've discovered that imaging protocols are really quite a challenge to write. And if you've ever had to experience this before, you'll know that sometimes no matter what you write down to ensure you get consistent and meaningful images, it does not always go off as well as it's written. So what we're going to do here today is cover a number of different things that you can do to increase your chances of imaging protocol success, make your technologist team happy and excited about participating in your trial, and most importantly, get the consistent, accurate, and relevant data you need from your images. So the first thing that you need to do when you start thinking about imaging is the introduction of phantoms into your protocol. Including a phantom will give you the ability to do testing of the protocol without the need to include your participant patients. You can test your protocol at any time in the trial that you decide a QA step is necessary. Having this phantom process in place in your protocol is going to be really valuable in helping make sure you keep quality and consistency throughout the trial as well as keeping your radiology team in good practice for the acquisition and reading of your images. Now the other thing you may want to do is storyboard your protocol. I know, it sounds really silly, but you've probably seen in like the bonus features of the Pixar movies where people sit down and they storyboard how they expect the movie to play out. It's really important for you to storyboard your protocol a little bit. There's no need to be a great artist, I know I'm not, but your storyboard can be simple with basic content. So things like, how do you want the patient prepped? How would you like the patient positioned? What field of view is required? How long will the scan take? What scanner protocols are required? What kind of scanners will be used? By the way, that's a really good way to catch different scanner versions at different sites. Um, you may even want to include a subplot in your storyboard about what happens when a new technologist or new radiologist has to come up to speed in the middle of your trial. You know, you're going to have to think about things like scanner settings. You should have a picture in your storyboard of the technologist setting the scanner parameters, picking the right size film, grabbing the right coil, whatever it might be. That's a really important part. It sounds a little out of the box, but it's going to eliminate quite a bit of frustration and missteps early in the stages of the trial. And see if you can get screenshots of the scanners that you'll be using in your trial. If you can do that, it will give you and your technologist a crystal clear understanding of what needs to be accomplished with each and every scan. The other thing you can do to create a high quality protocol is find a technologist and a radiologist to proofread the protocol for you. And ask someone who knows nothing, like absolutely nothing about your trial, because then they'll be able to read the protocol fresh and not make any assumptions. If you do those things with one last trick, you'll be in great shape. The one last trick we'd like to share with you is to train the protocol in person. If you don't train the protocol in person, if you don't sit down and take the time to explain to someone what you're hoping to accomplish in your trial and your imaging, it could really negatively affect the quality of your data. And that's certainly a surprise no one enjoys at the end of a trial. So investing this time in these simple techniques will minimize the protocol challenges you have and give you more success in your imaging trial. Join us for the next Image IQ webinar on November 7th at 11 Eastern. Sandy Maddox, CEO from iMark Research, will be our guest to discuss the compliance challenges that are presented when imaging is introduced into your trial. Hope to see you online in November.